TikTok ads are really important for the business growth. However, TikTok ads cannot optimize themselves if you don't have the pixel tracking all the events on your Shopify store. So in this video, we are going to see how you can successfully track page view events on your TikTok pixels so your ads manager can know where the user is landing and it can store cookies such as TikTok click IDs. This video has been divided into three different sections. In the first section of the video, we will be configuring Google Tag Manager container on your Shopify store. In the second section, we will be creating a TikTok pixel and adding that TikTok pixel on your Google Tag Manager store. And in the third and final section of the video, we will be doing some testing and publishing the changes. In the first section of this video, we are going to see how you can configure Google Tag Manager web container on your Shopify store so we can track all the events that are firing on all the different pages of our store. To do that, we need to make sure that our head and body script from Google Tag Manager container are properly implemented on our Shopify store. To do this, let's just head over to my computer so we can get the head and body scripts that we can add to the Shopify store. On your Shopify store, you can see this Google Tag Manager container ID on the top right corner. So once you click on it, it will show you the head script, which is the first one. And it will also show you the body script, which is the second one. You don't really need both of the scripts. If you only have the head script on your Shopify store, that will perfectly work fine. But since this is a tutorial, we are going to make sure that we follow all the steps to the end. So let's just copy the head script and go back to our Shopify store. On your Shopify store, click on themes. The themes is under online stores and then click on the action button with the three dots and then click on edit code. This edit code function will take you to the back end of your Shopify store where you can make changes to your theme file. Let's just locate our theme file, which is usually the first or the second file on your theme, unless you have any other Zipify upsell pages added to your store. The Google Tag Manager head script is supposed to be right under this opening head tag of your theme file. So let's just make some space here and paste the code that we copied from Google Tag Manager container. Now we need to do the same thing for the body code. So let's head back to the Google Tag Manager container and copy copy the body script and now let's go back to the Shopify store and search for the opening body tag. For me, the opening body tag is at line number 255. So I will just make some space and paste the code right here. Hit format liquid. So this will just make everything look really pretty and then hit save. Now let's just make sure that everything is working all right on our Shopify store. To do that, let's go back to the Google Tag Manager web container and hit on preview button. Hitting the preview button will open a debug window which will connect Google Tag Manager web container with our Shopify store with a temporary debug view where we can see all the events, tags, triggers, and all the actions that are firing in the data layer on our Shopify store. So right now, I have also installed a Google Tag Manager Legacy Assistant, which can show me that I have a Google Tag Manager container firing with the same ID. And if I open the debug window, I can see that it has successfully connected with our Shopify store. That means the Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on the website. Perfect. Now we need to make sure that we have the TikTok pixels page view event firing on all the pages of the website, right? But before that, we also need to make sure that our Google Tag Manager container is firing on the final thank you pages. The theme file that you have here in, on your Shopify store, it only tracks the users up to the checkout step. It does not track the users on the checkout pages or on the final thank you pages. So in order to track the user on the final thank you pages, we need to make sure that we have the Google Tag Manager code added on the checkout pages too. So let's head back to the checkout sections on our Shopify store, which is under settings and then click on checkout. If you will scroll all the way down, you will find an option for order status page and under additional scripts, we are going to paste our Google Tag Manager web container head snippet. So let's go back to the Google Tag Manager container and open the body and head code again. Copy the head code and paste it right here. Let's hit save. What this is going to do is add the Google Tag Manager container on the final thank you page of the website. Perfect. Now we need to make sure that we have the TikTok pixel firing on our Shopify store. So let's get back to the TikTok ads manager and under the tool section, you will see an option for pixels or events. For me, it is showing events. So once you click on events, it will take you to the page where you can select different pixels type. Since Shopify is an online store, so we are going with the web events. Great. Since this is a new store and I do not have any kind of pixels before, so we are going to create a pixel for ourselves. However, if you already have a pixel, the only thing you need is TikTok pixel ID. So let's just create the TikTok pixel and we are going to do a manual setup. Let's name it tracking academy 
since this is the name of our dummy project that we are doing. So let's hit next. Perfect. Now this is showing us how to set up the events manually. However, we don't want to do that since we are going to use Google Tag Manager for this one. So let's hit skip this step and hit confirm. Perfect. Now let's hit next. And since we are going to use the web browser events for now, so we are going to use custom code for this one. However, in, in the future videos, we will see how we can implement TikTok event API. So stay tuned for that. So let's hit view instructions. Great. Now this has redirected us to the Facebook pixel code. We can copy this code and go back to the Google Tag Manager web container. Now let's create a new tag that will fire on all the pages of the website and it will track the page view event that will be sent to TikTok Ads Manager. Since we want this tag to fire on all the pages, so we are going to select the trigger for all pages. And under the tag section, we are going to create a custom HTML tag which will send all the data to this page. This is the TikTok pixel ID. We are also going to copy this one so we can create a variable for this one and replace it right here. Let's rename this tag to custom HTML TikTok configuration tag. This naming convention is not necessary. You can follow whatever naming convention sounds you the best and let's hit save. But before testing this, I would like to create a variable for this one. So once we have the variable created, we can reuse the same variable at multiple places. And in case in future, we want to update this TikTok pixel, we only have to update the pixel ID at one place. So let's hit new and let's create a user defined constant variable. Since the pixel ID is not going to change, we, we can paste the pixel ID right here. Let's rename it to TikTok pixel ID and hit save. Now we can go back to the Google Tag Manager Containers tag section and click the tag we have created and replace the manual pixel ID with the pixel ID that we just created. You can hit double curly braces to open this variable section anywhere on the page. Since we have everything working right now, we can hit save and do some testing to make sure our TikTok pixels events are working fine. Let's hit preview once again on our Google Tag Manager web container to see if the TikTok pixels page view event are properly firing on the website. On your Shopify store, you can also install TikTok Pixel Helper, which will help you to see what kind of events are firing on your page. This TikTok Pixel Helper event is showing me that there is a page view event that is firing successfully on this page. For me, you can also see a warning that is showing me that the code is not placed directly in the head section. This is because we are using Google Tag Manager and you can ignore this error because even though this error exists, all the tracking works completely fine. Let's go to some other pages of the website to make sure that we are tracking all the pages on this TikTok pixel. Great. So this page view event is firing on all the pages of the website and this is really great. But whatever we have done is really useless if you cannot track all the e-commerce events such as view item, add to cart, begin checkout. So in order to track view content event on TikTok pixel, you have to watch this video where you are going to learn everything about that. Perfect. Now, since our page view events are firing on all the pages, we can go back to the Google Tag Manager web container and publish our container. If you do not publish any changes, then all the changes that you have made will still be in the draft mode and nothing will be tracked on your Shopify store. So let's add it as TikTok page view events. Perfect. Now you are successfully tracking all the page view events on your Shopify store on your TikTok pixel. However, whatever we have done is really useless if you cannot track e-commerce events such as view content, add to cart, purchases on your Shopify store. So if you want to see how you can track view content event on TikTok pixels for Shopify store, click right here.